my thought for the day is breathing in trust. There is so much uncertainty in our world right now, so much beyond our control. And so many people are breathing incredibly shallowly. That's not a new thing. We have, as a species, been holding on to things and trying to get somewhere <laughs> for a long period of time. For those of us who walk and work a medicine way, what's happening on the planet right now is hardly surprising. For not only are the human beings having a hard time breathing, the planet is having a hard time breathing. With all of the pollution, and not only the pollution that goes into the world, it's the thoughts of anger and despair, of loneliness, of hatred. So many jagged strands of sorrow that have been poured into the blood of the earth. And look at how we've created war after war after war. The earth is having a hard time breathing. And I think it's very interesting that this virus attacks our lungs. And human beings are ha having an even more difficult time breathing. And so it's really important for each of us to be in touch with our breath, to breathe more deeply. I, like many people on the planet, am self-employed. My year is suddenly looking incredibly different. I had many pilgrimages planned this year to wander the lands, which I love, lands that know me well and that I know well. And it's disappointing that I, I won't be dancing on the backbone of Iona, of Sky, of Mull. In my own neighbourhood of the Kingdom of Fife, so many places that are calling to me and, and right now I'm not permitted to travel too. And those people that were coming with me, well, they're going through their disappointments just like so many people on the planet who had weddings planned, people who are not able to attend funerals of their loved ones right now. Breathe. I live in a beautiful part of the world. And yet, here I sit at home alone. My best friend the person I love with all my heart, my partner Joyce, she's in Glasgow. And we don't know when we will see each other again. We hope that this lockdown that is initially for three weeks will be suspended for enough time that we can get to each other. There's no guarantee of that. We spoke on the phone last night and we realise that there's actually no guarantee that we will ever see each other in person again. Oh, we intend to, but there just are no guarantees. And so we hold space and we hold each other in our hearts and we breathe. For those of us who know a medicine way, we have the opportunity to breathe more deeply for those who are in fear and who are not in their bodies right now. I'd like to invite you to breathe deeply with me for a couple of minutes. The song of Amran, the song that sings us, will be in the background. If you right now find yourself a comfortable place to sit and feel your feet get really heavy and hot, imagine there's roots going way into the earth 
And I invite you to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And you may choose to close your eyes. And if you find your mind wandering, bring it to your heart and to that place of love, the gateway to joy and breathe deeply into your bodies. And as we breathe deeply within our bodies, we hold space on all those who are short of breath right now. And we allow our breath to go into the spaces between the spaces, supporting all beings in great gratitude on our breath this beautiful day. <laughs> 